He just walked straight up towards me, and when my dog got near him, he shot my dog. Um, I was taking my dogs t to, to a, an open field that was very secluded away from everybody else to play ball. I had no worries about them going near the, the police because the police were inside a fenced area and they were, you know, a very long ways away from me. I had only been there for a minute or two and I looked up and I seen the police officer that was sitting in the car had got out of his car and he was marching towards me at a very fast pace. As soon as I seen the police officer, I started yelling for my dogs to come to me. Misty had just ran to chase the ball and had got it and was coming back and she noticed the police officer coming towards uh, towards me and then she ran towards the police officer and she still had the ball in her mouth. As soon as my dog got within a couple of feet of the police officer, he, he shot at her and, and then he shot again. And I'm yelling at him, please don't shoot my dog. Stop shooting my dog. By that time I couldn't stand anymore and I was sitting on the ground and I was crying. I was begging the police officer to, to let me take the, my dog to the the vet, I said, my dog is dying. You shot my dog. And he cared nothing about that. He was yelling at me saying, you can't have dogs in here. This is city Regina property. This is not an open dot leash park. And I said to him, I says, my dog's dying. My dog's dying. Don't you have a heart? Let me take my dog to the vet. I says, don't you have a dog? Do you have a dog yourself? And he says, yes, he does. And I says, well, then you know what it's like and he still wouldn't let me go and he wants my dog's license and he wants my driver's license he wants my registration all this time my dog's in my SUV bleeding to death and I said to him then I will tell the media I will phone the, the cameras and uh, the CTV and the leader post I says I will tell everybody how you're treating me right now and how you shot my dog and that was the only time he then looked at me and he said okay you can go and then he let me go and I drove as fast as I could to, to the vet and, and, and carried my dog in here and, and they, they saved her life because if she would have lost any more blood, she would have never made it. We know that when police make a decision to shoot a dog, it generates a lot of questions and emotion in our city. As I just read in some media coverage, I don't doubt for a moment that with her owner and family, the dog is seen as a loving, playful pet. But that was not how our experienced canine officer perceived the dog in the moments prior to the incident. Our investigation is intended to explain all of the circumstances that contributed to this happening. As the owner continued to call for the dogs to return, the officer began sensing very troubling behavior from one of the dogs who appeared to him to be assuming an aggressive posture and circling him. The officer felt that the dog's actions were consistent with preparing to attack him. The officer was in an open field and appears to have been making movements to avoid an attack from the dog. However, the officer perceived the dog's aggressive behavior escalating to a point where the officer feared he would be seriously injured. This should have never happened. This police officer should have never walked over there. He could have waved at me. He could have got in his car, stayed in his car and drove along the service road, which was 10 feet away from me, and not walk across a, a couple hundred yards of a field to, to, to do this. He has training. He should know how to do this. He was a, a, a police officer that, ha that has a canine unit. He should understand how dogs are. He should understand how it feels when somebody's dog gets shot. This is like a family member to me. You know, this is my whole life. I only have my dog in my life. I don't have anybody else. And my dog is my life. And she sleeps with me every night since she was a pup. And, and now she's not sleeping with me and, and she's just about died.